Linda Dykes is in Hampshire. Hi! Oi. In her quest for excellence, Linda Dykes is personally inspecting the homes of volunteers for the Army of Obsessive Cleaners. Very nice. Well, Mark, you're my ideal man, actually. 45-year-old bodybuilder Mark spends almost 50 hours a week making sure that everything in his life is perfectly clean and ordered. I start cleaning as soon as I get up, and I'm probably cleaning pretty much before I go to bed. <laughs> Who pulled these this morning? Is this you? Yes, why? Oh. Mark is particularly obsessed with making sure his curtains are precisely aligned. What's wrong with them? I just, just dust my head in when they're halfway across the window. I'm sorry. No, it's not you, it's me. Is that even? They're fine. I actually get quite stressed if I can't tidy things up. If I catch it out the corner of my eye, the curtains are not right. I'll have to adjust them, otherwise I just can't relax. There's people that like things tidy, but Mark definitely takes it to a whole nother level. Oh. Quite unusual. This is my sink, which is nothing special apart from the fact that I clean it about 50 times a day. I'll wring out my cloth like that, and where it splashes, I have to go over it again. And it's a bit of a catch-22, because when I go over it again, then I have to wring out my cloth, then it splashes. And then what happens is I'm wringing out my cloth, and I suddenly think, oh, no, the work surface needs a clean. And before I know it, I'm actually doing a bit of a whole house clean, which wasn't really planned. Push, push. Yeah. Mark's just as obsessed with order in his professional life. He works 85 hours a week running his own gym. I spend probably two hours a day actually rearranging the weights. I'm actually probably worse at work. There's a lot more people to make a lot more mess. It would be good to actually put my bizarre habits to, to some use. And you never know, you know, the more people I make like me, the less unusual I become. Well, there's a good reason. Mark's leaving behind his own strict routine to help somebody who lives 200 miles away in Lancashire. Forty-seven-year-old personal assistant Julie shares her three-bedroom house with her teenage daughter Laura, and her vast collection of childhood mementos, ornaments, clothes, and cuddly toys. My hoarding started when I was a little girl. My mum's a hoarder. My grandma was a hoarder, and I believe my great-grandma was a hoarder. And Julie is no different. I'm not one for chucking stuff out. Especially behind my settee, the first thing you see when you come in, you just wonder, oh, what is it? What's underneath there? There's all sorts of sewing machines, video recorders. When it gets on my nerves, I just throw a blanket over it. If I can't see it, it's not there. My biggest hoard is my clothes. I keep going to charity shops and buying clothes. I walk in, see a bargain, I have to buy it. And more clothes. The house is now so full of clutter that it's become impossible to clean. The last time the house got a full clean would be two years ago when I had uh, windows put in, because obviously it means moving everything. So I clean around it. <laughs> as well as the clutter and lack of cleaning, there's the problem of damp, mould and mildew. The state of the house is a major source of embarrassment for 15-year-old Laura. It gets annoying. I spend most of my time in my room. I want my mum to get rid of the stuff, cos then I can actually invite my friends over to the house. Julie is now desperate to make a change in her life. My clutter does make me feel anxious. I'd like to think that by the time I'm 50, which isn't that long away, <laughs> I will be in complete control of my house and of my life. Mark has agreed to try to help Julie bring order to her home. I think I might rub my earlobes before I go in, because that sometimes helps you calm, doesn't it, really? I've seen it. A lot of powerlifters do it. Right. But with his stress levels already rising, how will he cope with the state of Julie's house? Hello there. I'm Mark. Uh, I'm Julie. How do you Nice do? to meet you. Good wow. Excuse the little brat. Do you want to come through to my living room? Yeah, why not? Come on through. Ooh, blimey. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. So what's that there? Just is it like a bed, is it? Or? No, it's just boxes and all sorts in there. And to tell you the truth, there's some stuff I don't even know what's behind there. Right. But if I stick a blanket over it, you can't see it. It looks a bit tidier. Yeah, like sort of out of sight, out of mind. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of on my mind, though. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be my worst nightmare at home. I've got a thing about curtain arranging. Or just the... Mm. I wanted some of the rings hanging off, but yeah. for me, I, I can't have them resting on the table, but... It's, I must admit, I'd probably drive people mad, but... Um, uh, without sounding really personal... Um, uh, there is a bit of a smell, cos uh, we found a male kitten. Oh, I've got, I have a dog. I have a huge dog, and I, I spray him with um, deodorant. <laughs> so, um, because I'm not... I just can't stand smells. Male cat's oh. uh, spray. What, is it sprayed on your carpet? It'll probably, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I, I, need, I need an industrial cleaner to come and clean the carpet. <laughs> well, this made me feel quite unwell. <laughs> <laughs> right, it hasn't sprayed on the chairs as well, as he? Or? No, 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 there's just a couple of places he's done it. Well, that would totally freak me out, actually. <laughs> I won't tell you where, then. <laughs> I, don't think I, can... I won't tell you where. <laughs> come into my boudoir. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to say, actually. Wow. It's quite tangy. <laughs> it's quite tangy. It's got a very musty smell, I have to be honest. Yeah. So, I, don't mean, I don't know if it's that or if it's, it's the fact that. that there's about 800 cubic feet of furry toys. Um, wow, why is there so many toys in here? Because they're all mine. OK, that's freaking me out slightly. Um, they're everywhere. Um, right. And what's all that stuff up there? Is that like a... Fancy dress clothes. There's all sorts up there. But all the wardrobes are full of clothes. And this is my other wardrobe. Oh, what? Oh, my God. What's that? I've got far too many clothes. I need to get rid of them. I keep thinking... You don't wear I'm... these, though, do you? Or... Yes. Don't they smell a bit fausty? Mm. Right, OK. It's on so, my arm, I can feel it. Um, Just a baby wipe. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, have one, I'll have to have a wipe in a minute, because I can feel it feels a bit... Ugh. First impressions are... It's awful. I haven't been in a house like this ever. It's just shying away from reality, and it's just chaos. Man up, box up and throw out would probably be the, the easiest way I'd sum that one up. And I'm going to chuck away a lot of rubbish tomorrow, including her if she gets in the way. It's bodybuilder Mark's first day at Hoarder Julie's home in Lancashire. I think Mark will be firm with me, but I won't be pushed if I don't want to. At home, Mark spends 50 hours a week making sure that every aspect of his life is ordered and routined. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, thanks. Ready for a big day? Yep. I've come up with a plan. I've got a sort of big box bigger box theory, so you put stuff in box, when the box is full, goes to big box outside. The dog loves that. That's been good. To bring order to Julie's home, Mark's plan is to start by clearing her lounge and bedroom of the items she's been holding on to for years. Yeah, that's good. It's gone now. Once it's in, you can't get it out. Now, that is from the top of my wedding cake. My granddad bought it special for me. Isn't that sort of like old memories that you'd rather get rid of? Mm, my wedding day, even though obviously I'm not married anymore, was still special because, yeah, you know, I was in love with him and... Put it in the bag. Go on. You know you want to. Right, let me help you. It looks bloody awful. Right, that's good. Now, I am keeping these. These were bought for me when I was a baby and they've always been in my life and I am not getting rid of these. I hate to say it, but they look like Spock's ears. That, that can't be interesting, can it? It's an old... Harry Code. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one that I wanted to drive. Just to drive. There's sentimental and there's just mental. Uh, and keeping your highway code book is just... Yeah, is the, is the latter. <laughs> You don't need to go to the gym tonight, oh, do you? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if I hear one more story about old times, uh, I think I'm just going to chuck her in and skip myself, to be honest with it. All right, OK. Psychologists believe that some hoarders develop an emotional attachment to items that others see as worthless, 
even if those items are having a negative impact on day-to-day -day living. <clears throat> wow. It's like Aladdin's cave under there, isn't it? Uh, if I'm honest with you, this is where I think most of the musty smell comes from. There's a lot of damp behind there. There might be some creatures living under there. Actually, I've got something in common with both OCD. Yours is cleaning and mine's hoarding. <laughs> Mm. I, I, You're okay. Yeah, well, I th yeah, possibly uh, si ah. similar traits, but I, I, I would say that we're probably worlds apart. So you don't want that, that crusty old inner soul, do you? No. Professional opinion is divided over whether hoarding is a symptom of obsessive compulsive disorder. Do you know what I actually really think? I'm normal and a lot of other people are quite lazy. And I, I revel in being tidy, whereas a lot of people who are untidy badge you as being obsessive uh, to cover for the fact that, quite frankly, their lounges like that. This is flipping disgusting. Not being behind there for such a long time. See, this is why you can't really compare you to me. I, I, I just couldn't have this just in my world. It's just, it's just not right. Actually, it's made me feel quite ill. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> that's all right. That's all, it's all good, sort of. Um, disgusted. That room is awful. It stinks. It's full of mould. Uh, that wallpaper's hanging off. The carpet's rotting. It's just downright lazy. It's just awful. Um, and uh, how she can compare me to her, I've got no idea. I'm quite disgusted with myself. You just cover it up with a blanket and it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, but unfortunately, it's definitely not out of my nose because that, that's what you can smell when you come in. Yeah, I'm not happy with myself at all. It's a lot worse than I expected. Didn't expect it to be like that. Because to tell you the truth, if I had a ton, I wouldn't be having you here now. I would never have put myself through this. You look a bit upset. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes it actually takes a bit of a shock and in the nicest sort of possible way of a bit of a kick up the arse for you oh, to... Oh, I need you know, to be for, kick up the bum. Yeah, I mean, you know, and everyone does. Right, should we crack on? Yeah. Right. Right. I know exactly what Mark thought. I just saw his skin crawl. If he'd have got hairs on his arms, I think his hairs would have just jumped off. I'm feeling very disgusted with myself. <laughs> but this way, we'll never get that bad again. In Lancashire, curtain obsessed Mark is on day three of the clear up at Hoarder Julie's house. Yesterday, he cleared out almost a skipful of clutter from the lounge. And now the damp and rotting wallpaper is finally being replaced. Right. Today, Mark's strategy is to clear the bedroom of Julie's vast collection of cuddly toys. What's the fetish and why are they so important? Well, that one fell in there by accident. No, not the elephant. I've just always been from a little girl. I've always had cuddly toys. Well, yeah, but, but you're sort of 47 now. Never too old to have teddy bears. Clearly. Experts believe that some people hoard items such as toys for fear of letting go of the past and moving on with their lives in the present. That one there, that looks like Tintin with the quiff... That? Yeah, probably... You has... will never... No. I am sorry, this no, is what, what I've had from a baby. This is my doll and this is my Jane and I ain't losing her. Right. This ain't going either. That is the dirtiest teddy of all. I don't care. This is my teddy and I ain't getting rid of it. If there's that valuable, do you not think a bit of TLC wouldn't go amiss? Like, maybe took them to the dry... Look at the dust! Don't worry, I, won't, I won't do it in here. No, don't do that. Do you not think that... Uh, <clears throat> they need a good brushing down. Brushing? They need a jet washer. Having made some headway with Julie's soft toys, Mark now wants to move on to her vast collection of clothes. <clears throat> oh, my God. <clears throat> I'm the found a spider. <clears throat> She said I was eccentric. Have you ever stopped to think the reason there might be a hundred spiders living in your home is you're actually cultivating them with the uh, yeah with the oh. 
This is clean on today, look. Damn it. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Faster. No, I can't do it fast. Think of it as a cardio workout. Are you like a clothes hoarder? Yes, I'm very much a big clothes hoarder. I seem to be able to smell out a charity shop that as soon as I walk down the street, oh, look, there's a charity shop. And if I see something I like, I buy it. Because... What, what, not if you, what, if you don't even need it, or...? Oh, yeah. I've still got a tag yeah. in it, but i still got... A... I know. If it's a pound and it fits, I'll get it. I just can't, just can't relate to that at all. I can't even see the bed at the moment for clothes. Um... I mean, people have told me I'm a difficult person to live with because of my obsessive nature. I must be an absolute dream to be with compared to this. Dream. Dream. It's bodybuilder Mark's last day in Lancashire. He's been trying to help Julie clean up the house she's neglected for years. Having persuaded her to part with the clutter she hoarded, Mark now wants to put the finishing touches to the home. Julie. Yes, dear? There's a dog poo on the carpet. <laughs> it nearly went on my shoe. I <laughs> There's me polishing the window, and I'm nearly stepping in a cat shit. He's never done that before. Oh. He's never done that before. Oh, it's a present for her. It's a housewoman present. I'm going to kill that cat. <laughs> I'm going to kill the cat. Oh. Sorry, I know I shouldn't laugh, but that is so offensive. Julie's partner is due any minute, but for Mark, the house isn't ready until everything is arranged in his own particular way. Her partner, Darren, has arrived, along with her two daughters, 19-year-old Catherine and 15-year-old Laura. Laura was previously too embarrassed to invite friends over to the house. Four days ago, Julie's living room was rammed full of years of clutter and the wallpaper was mouldy and damp. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ta -da. What a transformation. This is totally different. Wow. Usually when you come in before, you, you, you had to sort of... Side be careful where you side stood, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can sort of uh, move around. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's more spacious. I like the cabinet, I like the walls. So does it meet with the girls' seal of approval? Yeah, we can sit and watch TV then, can't we? You yeah. can have that so far, the big one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to invite my friend down more often. <laughs> I'm just sorry that it's that it's, and up until now you haven't been happy to say this is your home. But now, hopefully, don't you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs in the bedroom, Mark persuaded Julie to part with 30 of her cuddly toys and 103 kilos of clothes, many of which had never been worn. Are you ready for this? Yes. Oh, wow. That is fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> oh, good grief. I, I can't believe it. What's, what, where's, all the, where's all your pile of clothes gone? And you actually get into the wardrobe now as well. That's... The first task we had was uh, to remove the... Uh plethora of... Toys from up here. Yeah. Yes, that's right, yeah. I'd found it quite unnerving, actually, sort of, like, lying there with, with about 10 million sets of eyes. Just watching you, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Well done. <laughs> well done. Excellent. If I start hoarding again, or even try to, you have I'll permission you know. to smack me. <laughs> we can see what it does for the house, can't you? I know, I, mean, it's, I know, it's I know. Yeah. Much more space, yeah. Right, guys, my time here has come to an end, so um, I'll leave it up to you to keep it in shape now. And uh, I'm off. Okay. All thanks. right. Thanks very much. Take care. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Having my house decluttered and cleaned has given me a real big wake up call. I don't want to do it again. Well, I'm really pleased I could put my slightly bizarre, obsessive, however you want to describe it, behaviour to good use. I can go back feeling like I've achieved something, which is good.